If you run a Shopify store or any e-commerce website, you need to know how to perform an effective SEO audit. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down step-by-step -step everything you need to know in order to properly analyze your SEO and thereby ensure your competitors stop gaining an advantage over you by ranking higher in the search results. My name is Kai Cromwell and my agency has helped dozens of six, seven, and eight figure brands optimize their SEO and drastically boost their revenue as a result. After one year of working with an ineffective agency, we helped a family owned brand increase their organic MRR from 50K to 87K in under six months. And they're on pace for 100K on organic search revenue per month as of this month. Most SEO audits suck. Anyone can plug a website into Ahrefs, SEMrush, or another popular tool and produce a quote unquote SEO audit. But these audits are absolutely worthless. They just give you a list of problems to fix but don't share why they're problematic or how to fix them. In fact, many SEO agencies give out free SEO audits to prospects because it costs them nothing. And that should be the biggest red flag of all. It costs them nothing, so it's worth absolutely nothing to you. They copy and paste your domain into a tool and then send you over a PDF or spreadsheet of the tool's findings. They've done literally nothing but click a few buttons and hit send. And while you stress over improving your Google PageSpeed Insights or Ahrefs Health Score by a single point, your competitors will lap you by focusing on things that actually matter. And unless you're in a back and forth battle for the number one spot with a competitor, you should focus on pulling big levers, not small ones. What do I mean by that? Instead of optimizing your site speed, focus on things like optimizing your money pages, building high authority backlinks, and writing relevant blog content and becoming the topical authority in your niche. These are big levers, and your audit should only focus on these. Each big lever can be classified into one of three buckets, technical, on-page, and off-page SEO. In 90% of cases, the technical bucket will be the least valuable one that you explore in the audit. Which is funny because most of those lame free SEO audits focus solely on that bucket. So while the technical bucket is of course necessary, we're going to focus 80% of our energy on the on-page and off-page aspects of your website. So let's start with technical. There are thousands of factors that you could optimize for, but if you really want to move the needle and start making money with your e-commerce store, these are the only ones I recommend you focus on. 404s and broken links. Redirect any broken links to the most relevant active pages on your website. Don't just blanket redirect them all to the home page. Implement pagination for category slash collection and blog pages. Use the rel equals canonical tags for page query parameters. Eliminate duplicate or thin content. No index pages that are thin on content. For example, Shopify pages that include tag in the URL. Schema. Add relevant schema to your home product collection slash category and blog pages to give Google more context about your specific pages. It might earn you rich snippets with product ratings and review counts, which can really help you stand out in the search. Robots.txt, make sure you set this up in a way that only Google can crawl pages on your site that you want it to see. There are other technical elements to consider, of course, but this list operates under the assumption that your site is already mobile optimized, sitemaps are properly indexed, and has a super, super simple URL structure. On page. This is the needle moving part of the audit. We're going to sort this into two categories, existing opportunities and new opportunities. Let's define existing opportunities as keywords that you already rank for, whether that be a product, category or collection page, or a blog post. You've already tried to optimize them, but you're not ranking number one yet. Let's start with that particular page itself. Is your target keyword in each of the following locations? Title slash h1, meta title, meta description, URL slug, the first sentence, a few times naturally throughout the content, and the image alt text? If it's not, go add it to all of these locations. These are essential to your page ranking number one, so there's no excuse to skip any of these steps. If your keyword is already in all of these locations for every single page on your site, let's ask a few more questions. Have you written any blog content that's specific to each of your products and or category slash collection pages? If so, are those blogs worthy of ranking page one on Google? Or are they low quality, spammy, 500 word blog posts? If it's not page one worthy, go update it. If you haven't written any relevant blog content, go start writing. Assuming that you have relevant blog content on your site and it's high quality, have you built any internal links? If so, are there any internal link opportunities you may have missed? Or could you change your anchor text to bump you up one or two spots? If you don't have any internal links, go start building them right now. Build them to your money pages, which are your products and category pages, and to other relevant blog posts. Are your money pages linked from the main navigation and the homepage? If so, you're good to go. If not, go add them. These are the most important internal links on your site. It's imperative that you have them there. Now, on to new opportunities. These are keywords you haven't yet discovered or nor do you rank for. But ask yourself the following questions. When's the last time you did keyword research? 
Surely there are more keywords that your e-commerce brand can rank for. Every single month, we go and do a new set of keyword research for every single brand we work with, and we almost always find new keywords that we didn't catch the last time. Are you targeting a keyword that's way too competitive for your current status? I guarantee there's a less competitive keyword that you could rank for within a few weeks, you just have to go find it. Have your competitor has been publishing a ton of new categories and collections or new blog posts, perform a content gap analysis and figure out which content they have that you don't. Then create pages for these keywords and make sure your content quality is 10 times better than theirs. Off page. Backlinks are arguably the hardest part of SEO, which is also why they move the needle the most. If you've done little to no link building, it's definitely time to start. Building a handful of links will have a far greater impact on your organic search revenue than a page speed insight score. I guarantee it. There are dozens of types of links and even more ways to build them, but these are the ones you should focus on if you haven't done so already. Make sure all of your social profiles have links back to your website. Yes, they're no follow. Yes, they still matter. It builds your entity within Google. Reference sites like Wikipedia, Reddit, Quora, and even niche-specific forums. These are a little bit harder to get, but they're still valuable. PR distribution. You can use a tool like PR Newswire or Press Advantage and combine these with tier links. Web 2.0, like Medium, GitHub, Hubpages, Substack, LiveJournal. People think these are a bit dated, but I promise you, they still work. Review sites, Trustpilot, Reviews.io, and any niche relevant review sites for your particular industry. You can also do reactive PR, set up a free Harrow quoted and source bottle profile to pitch journalists and land high authority links. There's also proactive PR, which I'll cover in another video. Recap. That's a wrap on the SEO audit. If there's anything you take away from this, it should be this. Focus on moving big needles, not small ones that will have micro impacts on your business. You are far better off focusing on these tasks that will vault you to the top of Google, not just improve an arbitrary score on some free tool. If you found this video informative and want to learn about how to rank your Shopify store on Google's first page using SEO, I have a step-by-step -step guide that will teach you everything you need to know to get ahead of 99% of your competition. I highly recommend you go watch that. Link will be in the description. Peace.